Righty yo then, so we're gonna get straight into the requirements. The first is software. You're gonna need files or loads. An FTP client application. You can download any FTP file transferring anything you want. But I'm gonna use files or I think there's another one called Flash FXP, but I'm not too sure. Uh, then, uh, the second thing you're gonna need is a modded Xbox uh either soft mod or mod chip running the Unleash X. Not Evolution X, otherwise I'm I think it's pretty similar, but I, d I don't know, so just, you know, either way, I'm using only shacks. So, gonna plug in your Ethernet crossover into the back of your Xbox, which is just usually just a standard Ethernet connection, and plug that into your wireless router or modem. Make sure your PC is also connected to the same network, and you should be pretty much good to go. Um, pretty much it. So, let's head over to the Xbox and set up a few things there. Alright, so what we're going to do from here is we're going to go down to settings, I mean sorry, well it's system, and then select settings, and scroll down to network. Um, change the type to DHCP, and then you should see some server information for the FTP. Uh, your username and password should be by default Xbox and the port number. Um, so once you're done, click B and select yes. Back out of all of that and reboot the console. Alright, so once it's loaded uh, you should see a local IP address uh, which mine by default is 10.0.0.6 and that is the IP address we're going to be using to connect from FileZilla to the Xbox. So we'll go back to the computer and I'll show you what to do from there. Alright, so in FileZilla, we're going to click on this new site manager, uh, which is the button just in the left hand corner. Now, I'm just going to, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, delete the previous Xbox settings I've already got set up there, and click new site, just type in Xbox, and just for the host, uh, type in the I local IP address it gave you, so mine's 10.0.0.6. The port was 21, and we'll use the login type normal. The user was Xbox, and so was the password. So then we're just going to click OK. From the drop down, you should have Xbox, and just connect to that. Um, it also helps if you've got your Xbox turned on. Yeah, that just, yeah, I had to turn that on. <laughs> right. Okay, that, now that should actually start connecting. I did not just make a faulty tutorial. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, there we go. Alright. Have me worried then. Alright, so these are the partitions in your hard drive. I've got a 40 gigabyte hard drive installed in my Xbox. And that's pretty much it. You can browse all the files uh, located on your hard drive in your Xbox. It's really handy. You can like put games in from your computer directly onto the hard drive. Uh, that's pretty much it. And yeah, good luck with all that. Uh, hopefully, you don't have any complications or problems. Okay, thanks for watching my tutorial. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, sorry for not making any videos for a year. <laughs>